Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Peace of Mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And yeah. 
since I learned that uh, I won't be able to do a stream tomorrow evening, which was when we were originally thinking of well, doing another side stream, uh, I decided might as well do a bit of an early thing since, yeah, I, <laughs> the, the swimming attendance keeping that I, uh, well, don't really need to be at actually. Uh, what is it? Yeah, the 15th. Okay, today I do have to be there because I'm uh, filling in for something or someone. But <clears throat> uh, I don't need to leave until after 5 p.m. So, yeah, we can put this in. Yeah, we might need to not raid someone or cut the end a bit short. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's probably good today to skip the raid part. For... We think it will be better to raid someone. We go a lot over time. Yeah, or just pick someone and we just instantly jump to that, just to save a bit of time. But yeah. Anyways, welcome to Dust and the Elysian Tale. And yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't particularly pick this game to follow up after Dave, but in some ways it is a bit fitting. For one, I don't have to do any voice acting, because I'm pretty sure all of the dialogue in this game is voice acted. And it's also a very distinctive uh, art style. And yeah. uh, also something is that I underestimated this game when I first tried it out. Because I I think I bought this game at a sale at some point. Like many, many, many of my freaking 2000 plus category <laughs> catalog games. Um, and yeah, I just started it up one day. Not expecting much of it. And well, then I just finished the game in like a few sittings. <laughs> Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, the auto saving. Yeah. And as you can see, yeah, I've almost got 100% with the game. But let's start a new. No, not new. Uh, let's delete this save and start a new one there. Let's see. Casual, ideal for casual and young players or those who simply wish to enjoy the story. Easy things are enabled with no death penalty. Default difficulty, expect a fair challenge, tough, increased difficulty, recommended for seasoned players of action games, encounter smarter and tougher enemies, hardcore for the elite few who seek impossible odds as each encounter becomes a test of will, simply choosing this option demands respect. <laughs> so we go casual or normal? Well, we do usually most of the story, but... In a moment... Mm. I say we go cash because some fights were a bit tough. Uh, I remember some fights being a rather tough in this game. And I don't yeah. want to spend too much time just repeating it over and over. So let's go cash. Yeah. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten what was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war and it was in this our most desperate hour that the greatest of elysian tales began the lone warrior stood against an army slashing his way through all who opposed him the mob stood no chance and the soldier Show no mercy. Okay, the heck is up with VC face. Despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Uh. Yeah, I was to say earlier, before you started, that I saw some writing uh, appearing next to your head. Okay, seriously, what is up? My eye is fully open. Dust. Dust. Arise. A talking sword? What are you? Only that 
which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Fancy swords. Stop. Stop right there. And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. <laughs> no offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. <laughs> I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> and oh, here's dear. the sidekick. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm... Uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidget, then? That's me, and you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. Seriously, what is up with this? It keeps clo- Is my- Are my glasses causing some sort of issue with the camera or something? Is it- Whenever I glance over, it's like I'm freaking asleep over here. And the music in this game might be calming, but it's not that calming. No. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, I... All right, all right, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. <laughs> but, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Ara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's... Uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Okay, this this is just really annoying me, and it's not the game doing anything, it's VC Face being a nuisance. Like, yeah, when usually... I look forward, it's, it closes my eyes, but when I look aside, it, it snaps right open again. So give me a second, what the hell is going on with this? Yeah, I noticed something odd earlier. Like, the intro was still running while you were on the pause menu. Yeah, there's a, a little bit that the yeah the audio was still running, but yeah, just a little oddity. Luckily, we, uh, as I recall, we showcased this. Not much happened during that scene. We put uh, it, the, the pause menu coming up on, so we, as far as I know, we haven't missed anything. They were just talking. Let's see. I think when I'm looking aside, it's affecting things, so I'm just going to open Switch on my phone, so I can get a look there. Uh, can... okay. well, now it's just wonder, being it, stupid. Do I have a, I know, some reflection from the glasses going into the camera or something? Maybe that's it. 
we close there. Okay. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Speaking of looking better. <laughs> Yeah, this game uh, up and down. Okay, there we go. When there's actually space to look up and down, it'll work. <clears throat> yeah, this game has sort of two parts to its gameplay. One is a Metroidvania-like, the exploration, and then there as well is going to be brawling. I'm wondering if you were able to kill the bunny. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Nope. Let's see. Welcome to your map. From here you can view explored areas within the current region. You can also get a sense of any treasure within the immediate vicinity. Okay, and Fidget senses something over that way, but... Let's see. Can't jump down yet or something? Okay. Uh, hello. Let's see. Dash acquired. Dash with left trigger or right trigger. Uh, or with M. It's, okay. Just to the sides. But I can also use the control stick or the right control stick. Okay, now we can jump down. It was just locked off so we wouldn't miss the ability. Good bit of design. What have we here? Healing item has been placed. Let's see. Welcome to your quest log. From here you can view active and completed quests as well as any notes you picked up. Let's see. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn, across, uh, strewn about our world. I only hope there is enough time yeah, to free them all. Okay. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, <laughs> Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. Yeah, why else would, uh, <laughs> would there just be a chest out in the middle of nowhere? So, okay, we don't have a slide or anything, so that is definitely for something else later. Let's see. This game is very beautiful, looks very well. Though, no, I think this room myself, every time when I see it, I keep, keep thinking back on a naughty game from uh, early 20s, before 20s. Okay. Hello. Ah, monsters! Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! Do something! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Comedy is going to be a lot easier yeah. since we put it on casual, Nobody but. Said. Yeah. Monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, 
I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Where are you storing them? Uh, there's probably a bag or something underneath this cloak. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's see. Well, yeah. there was three series. This a begin before the Millennium Shift, if I remember right. But there was a cat that looked like a parrot that had magic and fighting dogs. And from mm. a, a friend had a demo of it. I, I forgot it was named Captain Claws or something. I think that I is the name of it. Or Claw. Yeah. yeah. For, from what I remember from the little bits I saw of the demo from my friend, is this is from view as a kid. Looks cartoony, but feels like an adult game. As it, it felt, it was had a very dark tone. From what I know, Claw also is very difficult. So yeah. Yeah. So whenever I look at this game, I feel back on that game. But when I hear people ignore this one, they've called it a furry game. It somehow pissed me off. Okay, we'll get. Armor and augment for the swords, some rings and a pendant. And apparently we just have a bag as well. Hmm. Also, do tell me if the uh, do tell me if the spoken audio is rather soft. It's actually very good. Okay. Uh, Rose is, I'm not a furry, but I don't think, I think it's good. I don't like the idea to using the term furry as a negative term. Yeah. Like, I do think... Yeah. I, I just don't get what some people think at times. Yeah, I believe around the time that this game came out, uh, the furry community wasn't as accepted as it is today. So people just thought... Uh, people just assumed that if something had furries in them, then it was just going to be weird sex stuff and such. But nowadays, people know better than that. I, I hope so. Oh god, it's a damn one for art style. Yeah. It's... And I do feel like it almost had it feel that it it worked well as a series again. Oh, that one's still alive. Okay. They have little health bars underneath them when they attack. Okay. Uh, actually, uh, a good uh, example. If you want to just show me these two without any gameplay, I would actually first ask, is this a new series? It looks good. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's see. What have we here? Mm. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. Just twirl it around. I like it. Hold the secondary attack to perform the Dust Storm. But beware, skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. Yep. Yeah. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press the super ballistic fidget action button of power, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know existed. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. Oh no. <gasps> you didn't even do damage. That was, uh, very pretty. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. There we go. And yeah, we just <laughs> zoomed that shit all over the place. my power it'll use up a bit of energy meter you can recharge the meter with melee combos yes dust between your combos and fidget's own powers you can achieve a higher hit chain 
which will heal bonus experience after each battle. Yeah, also the fourth wall is just completely shattered. <laughs> However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken and you will lose your bonus experience. All right, I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. But yeah, basically... Uh, do good in battle, and you'll get more experience to do even better in battle. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Two fifty. <laughs> oh, even further. Oop. And we lost the chain, but yeah, as you can see, you can get up quite a combo with this. Like, just from that, that's already like a hundred hits. What? We just got pooped! Hey there, Sensei, how are you doing today? Hello, hello, Sensei, and welcome! Oh, Lord! I think I had my beep brain derp there. Okay. Uh, did I ask if are you doing well today, or did I just completely forget about it? But yeah, welcome to uh, <laughs> Dust and Elysian Pale. We both had brain derp. Apparently, yeah. Let's see, from the sunset, but not like an hour or two. Oh, you nearly awake, you poor thing. Okay. So, at least a decent start to the day. Yeah, at least could be, could be much and much worse. Yeah. Okay, there were some combos being shown earlier, but I missed most of those. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, it doesn't trigger them if we aren't hitting anything. I was just, I kind of glad that they will shade mechanics that could have proper improvements over the years. For earliest introductions, I saw of shame mechanics. It was mostly for extra score, nothing else. Yeah. This were rather. Maybe just me, 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 and Menorah just never care for them really, except for one rare tool who wanted to use as a way to brag. <laughs> and that is what typically what score stuff is typically for, is bragging rights. Let's see, leap of faith. They chased and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I'd made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg, they caught up with me at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go, I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith. Okay, well, I must have survived if they managed to, re to write that afterwards. Depend on what condition they were in. Okay. <laughs> this is two dropping down from the sky. It's rainy monsters. Okay. There. Oh, I actually got hit there, but oh well. Not like it dealt much damage, if any at all. Okay. Hmm. Maybe casual might be a bit too low then if it's... Then again, this is the first area, so it, of course enemies are not going to deal that much damage. Yeah. But maybe we can bring... Uh, maybe we can bump up the difficulty at certain points. Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my 
the detailed maps and navigational equipment, chasing after a crazy flying sword. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging me sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. Yeah, like I can say right there, all these three voice actors are veterans. Dust, I feel like I he put him mostly in games and only few cartoons and anime. Fidget? A lot in both. She gets around. For good or bad. Okay. I'll have to we look have up their voice actors at some point then. Yeah, for uh, no, 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 she has done some very good voice uh, acting work. But she also done some also some annoying characters. The sword He's also one of those you uh, may have heard in many anime cartoons and uh, games as well. Yeah, I, I, that's the, a very good wise man-like voice. Yeah, and he usually does those if I remember right. And back down. Okay. Very hoppy goblins or whatever these things are supposed to be. Maybe kobolds? Okay. And level up. Okay. I did turn on some bits to make uh, th things easier to go, like an auto level system that the game has. And I should actually... Okay. I'm, I might have actually gotten healed because I turned, you know, turned on the auto heal. Let's see. Aerial Dust Storm. Okay. Yo, that is a bit different from the uh, land-based version since we're freaking flying. Ooh, dirty ring blueprints. Okay. All right. This game has this game has crafting as well. You need a blueprint to make a dirty ring. Apparently, yeah. Okay. Oh, an extremely easy blueprint. Pick up ring. Pick up dirt. Put in dirt. Pick up. Done. Now, I don't think they mean a, a ring literally made out of dirt. No, 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 no. That, that's not what I'm saying. Just to say, that pick up a ring, put it in dirt, to pick it up. Ah, uh, that. Uh, hello, treasure key. Okay. And there's treasure nearby. Yep, right here. Let's see. Input the sequence. Y, X, Y. Okay. A little mini game to make things easier. Let's see. A warped pendant. Two attack, two luck. Okay. That's our first little bit of equipment. And uh, uh, let's oh. see. Since I did answer your idea, they said they are good. Okay. And, uh... Let's see. Yeah, we're good as well over here. And hello there. Reinforced with a powerful alloy. Something explosive might do the trick, okay? Is that a tent? Is there somebody in there? Ah, whatever it is, it's got glowing evil eyes of evil. A merchant lies in wait. Do not let his appearance frighten you. I sense he only wishes to assist in our journey. I wasn't frightened, just surprised at the, uh, savings. Come on, let's talk to him. <laughs> uh, whatever Fidget is, it must be part cat because she's a scaredy cat. 
I've been expecting you, stranger. Who are you? Merely a friend with many wares for sale. Shall we conduct business? I recognize that voice. Also a veteran. Let's see, we can buy some fruits, some nuts, or cupcakes for healing. And we have pendants. Also, also, these sounds remind me very much of Ocarina of Time. Let's see, plus one attack, plus one defense, and plus one luck. We've already got a warp pendant, which is shown by, well, the outline. And then we have a simple pendant. Okay, two attack, two defense, and one luck, but we don't have enough for that. Eggshell augment, okay. Sandpaper. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Go back to the egg. Let's see the flavor test. Hoping you play with this. Hoping you play with this works about as well as you might imagine. Not very. <laughs> then we have sandpaper. You wonder if this is actually dulling your blade. And a dull whetstone. This adds a slight lean to the edge of your blade. Okay, let's get that. And let's see. Leaf vest. A rudimentary vest made out of leaves. Not the most protective of garments, but better than nothing. Bark shirts. This stiff shirt almost feels like it's going to fall apart. <laughs> and cotton vest. It will protect you from the cold, but little else. <laughs> let's get that. The vest. They are honest. Like, I could see a bark vest being somewhat protective. Only probably is to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Yeah, they have humor as well. This is also a very good thing. Let's see. The finest lumber in Falana. A box of iron nails. A yard of sturdy fabric. Several clean sheets of paper. Strong competence glue. And all-purpose wire. Okay. And we have teleport stones. Revival stones. Single-use stone that is rumored to rejuvenate the life of a fallen warrior. Second chance, if you will. Very expensive, though. And yeah, just teleports you to a safe monument. And then we have treasure keys that we could buy, but they cost 3,000 each. Of course. Uh, uh, before so you leave, might I propose an offer? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Doesn't he remind you of someone? Uh, from the dress or the shadowed bit? Uh, it used to be speak in dress. I think it's just my brain somehow connects him to the merchant from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> okay, he is a bit uh, more over the top, I'd say, the, the Resident Evil merchant. Yeah, the, uh, this one is spooks. Yeah, this one I didn't speak like he doesn't uh, haven't ruined his road with too many cigarettes or something. <laughs> that would depend on the offer. If I may be so bold. You are not prepared for the journey ahead. I, however, can offer assistance. All right, it's not that Please, voice actor. Accept this blueprint as a gift. Should you find a blacksmith and the necessary materials, they may be able to craft the item for you. I recognize him I can from offer you where. As well, though, I'm not entirely sure what materials this land deems of value. I am not from around here. As I'm sure you've guessed by now. Once you've sold me a new material type, I will be able to restock my store with it. As for your reward, I will pay you a bonus for the first new material you sell me. Ah, you buy them at a high price. That feels like a reference. Yeah. I. Well, yes. Yes, I will. And that cuts it immediately. Thank you. <coughs> Watch your back, my friend. <coughs> yeah, I reckon as voice. I think he's done both uh, good guys, neutral, and evil guys uh, voice acting. I just can't name the characters, and I, and as usual, I don't know the characters' voice actors' names, since yeah. I, the one who usually skip Ooh, the in credits and all that as a kid. Uh, let's see. I've looked it up on my phone here with uh, IMDb. Uh, yeah, Fidget's voice actor is Kimlin Tron. 
And apparently they're also known for a few fan things. And let's see. Additional voices in that. Uh, Richter in Megaton Girl, a TV series. Uh, apparently they also did... Oh, they did Catwoman in DC Battle Arena. Uh, and Gigi from Dragon Ball? Let's see. I hope we imagine this voice on Catwoman. <laughs> uh, let's see. One Punch Man, Wardroove, Ragnar. Uh, voice in Helsing. It's a lot of stuff. Your voice is Ragnar. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Okay, uh, uh, X to switch to cell modes. Let's see, new materials. Okay, marks show that the ones that he already has. Let's see, cotton. Yeah. Some dye. It's just some junk, serve no, serves no purpose, sell it. Okay, if you're good. Uh, let's see, a bottle of colored dye, a clump of fine cotton, needed for, uh, threads needed for sewing. Uh, scrap metal, bits of malleable metal. Uh, imp claw, the gnarled claws of an imp. Okay, so those are imps we've been fighting. And beast leather, a thick hide from a small beast. Okay, and that keeps adding to the shop catalog over there. We've we've got 13 of 24. One. Okay. Your transaction is most appreciated. The materials you've sold me will be quite useful. I'll attempt to restock them as time goes on. I also share my stock with other merchants. With our help, you will save valuable time collecting rarer materials. Thank you. Watch your back, my friend. Okay. And Dust's, vo Dust's voice actor is Lucian Dodge, apparently. And let's see, they've done additional voice in Diablo 4, uh, additional voices in Street Fighter 6, uh, Siphon in Redfall. Though that's, Redfall is a, well, a bit of a very <laughs> a disaster. Uh, let's see, Felix in Fire Emblem Warriors 3 Houses, okay. Does yeah. IDBM show the complete list or only the most recent ones? Uh, it tries to show a complete, uh, as complete a list as they can. Uh, let's see, additional voice in Halo Infinite. Matador Jack in Deathloop. Additional voices in Pokemon. And let's see. The Gu oh, Guildmaster Hojo in Monster Hunter Rise. Okay. Another alloy wall. I suspect the, these these have done the work longer. Unless they have grown to be very good at imitating other veteran voice actors. Is that what can make this more confusing? And there we go. That's how we deal with those walls. And again, we get we get mysterious wall chicken. Found embedded in a wall, this fully cooked and seasoned chicken comes from unknown origins. Yeah, do I even need to say the reference? Oh, it's a reference? Yeah, Castlevania. Come on. Thank you. For now, I'm gonna Im Im just wait for when they do that in their new series. If they do that. I think they made a joke about that at one point or something, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure as well. But yeah, still looking forward to the new season. Uh, no, not season, new uh, Castlevania. Okay, that's where we need to bring the bomb fruits. Okay. I need to watch the trailer so I know when it comes out. Let's see. I won't be... <clears throat> nope. Yeah, come on. 
I won't be going for 100% completion. But I I will grab whatever extras we can find and such. What the? Hello. There's something in that cage. Quick, get it out. Four locks. I'll take a wild guess and say we need four keys. Okay. Now there's another destroyable okay, wall. Multi-eyed slime with spines and explosive eggplants. Yeah, the eggplants feel like they're out of Rayman. And well, the blobs are very Cthulhu. <laughs> Let's see. Can we use this anywhere else? So, you know, we can use it like that. Okay. Yeah, we'll need to get back there once we've got some more keys. Dust, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Oh. Having some trouble there? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't get a good enough grip. Ah, you're just trying to show off. That's sweet. Don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Yep. Yeah. The game uh, telling you, you can just, you are going to find Ooh. ways to get through stuff like that later. Here we go. Okay, it wouldn't okay, be a Metroidvania guess. without some backtracking. Let me guess. The technology knows how to make the slimes more scary. Right direction. <laughs> be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't Andy? worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. <laughs> oh, and I've just found uh, the Blade of Aura's uh, voice actor. They're also known as Alastor in Has Been Hotel, or at least the pilot of that. Uh, and, uh, Striker in Hell of a Boss. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. So okay, this we did not expect. It's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence, I'll give them that. Much as I pity this corrupted beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Mm -hmm. Attack and hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike, and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Okay, new technique. Not sure I'll make much use of that, but it's an option. And village. I see somebody over there. Yeah, with the way you're wearing, <laughs> with the way you're wearing your hat, dust, you can see probably like two feet in front of you. So that's an achievement. Ask them if they've got anything to eat. We're in a bit of a hurry, fidget. Don't worry, I'll feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet, but uh. I would appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> you were such a pet. Oh, hello! You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So, we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes, 
is just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Dust. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. Okay, looks like trouble isn't just following us, it's also just ahead. Okay. Ooh, wait. Now, damn it, it said something at the top there. Pro I think it said something about difficulty. Let's see, we can probably. Sub probably something that you can change the difficulty or something. Eh, eh. Okay, that can be a little bit annoying so that you can interrupt bits like that. Especially when they're not as in your face as typically. Yeah. Also, I just noticed something. Uh, yeah, I, the FPS counter in the upper right, I forgot to turn that off. Wait, was that there in the, during the last day stream as well? No, it, it, it's got, some games you have it, and some games you don't have it. Uh, let's see. Let me just see about turning that off. Uh, that's interface. Um, You're in a scene, so you probably can't uh, do anything. Uh, yeah, I've got until after the scene. I've got the the Steam settings open. Uh, out there, in game. In game FPS off. There we go. Okay. There. Please help us. Go, oh, big boy. Ah, look at the size of that thing. Don't worry. I think I can handle it. Exercise all you've learned, Dust. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Okay, yeah, this thing is too big to throw around. Oop. And I actually parried it. Okay. And there we go. Oh, great. Now there's two of them. Rocky and Woody. Okay, they'll get some chip damage in. Yep. Okay, one done. And two. There we go. Is that it? Did we get all of them? <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. Well done, Dust. You have proven yourself a worthy swordsmaster, and none too soon. Bah, they weren't so tough. I could probably take on another four or five of them. You know, if I had to. And Dust was there. Oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I... I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? Yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey, who are you calling weak? <laughs> yeah. I recognize those voice actors. The men also, I always miss being the Those are veterans as well. 
Yeah, th this game just has oop, a lot in it. Oop. Okay, chapter one, Destiny. Storm on the horizon, and the edge of it is already here. Okay. Hello? Hold it right there. Uh, are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly expired. They were no match for us. There's an older couple back there that could use some help, though. That must have been Oneida and her husband, Gian. Thank you. I we'll send help right away. So you're saying you just happened to show up at the right time, huh? I suppose. Interesting coincidence. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Caleb here. We're just a little overwhelmed is all. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in? No, we didn't miss them. We did carve a path through them, though. They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet. Uh, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old Cora. We're, uh... Prospectors! We are prospectors! And we're out on an excavation to find, uh, ore deposits in the mountains. You know, gold, silver, um, manganite? Prospectors, eh? <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. <sighs> well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is Bean. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. I'm pretty sure Fidget couldn't lie her way out of a paper bag. Yeah. I like the character designs, but Prospectors the big one... Fidgets, that was the best thing you could come up with. <laughs> Go ahead. I like the character designs all that, but the big guy there looked a little bit rough on the face there, I like this. It felt like I was watching an unfinished work or something. Hmm. It could just be that he is supposed to be rough, since well, he's the rough guard and the bean is the, the kind guard. Hmm. It was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. All right, Tara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Callum just coming in to check on us. Maybe we should look around for a bit then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. He's just thinking, why is this weirdo talking to his sword? That is a good idea, Fidget. <laughs> Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well, but something... Something here is making me uneasy. Like the calm before a storm. Like the storm that's literally on the horizon. Okay, quest updated dust to dust. Let's see. You've woken up in a small glade in the mountains with no memory of your past. An ancient magical blade, Aura, and its guardian, Fidget, have joined with you. 
With no other path to travel, the road to the east is your only option. There's a village in the distance. Perhaps it holds some answers. You've proven yourself a hero to the townspeople of Aurora. Perhaps now you can get some answers from the townsfolk. Okay. Nice to have little descriptive objectives instead of just go here and do that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Characters with a leaf over their head are quest givers. Or leaf or quill. Yeah, quill. Yep. Why, hello there. I'm always thrilled to see a new face. Even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust and this is Fidget. Hiya. Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Yeah, you sound uh, like you're from the other side of the planet. Uh, are you going to recognize that voice? I'm Augustin, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Wow, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Okay, where do you recognize them from then? Many places. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we need we need help from a blueprint uh, from from a blacksmith, anyways. And hello there, Johnny. Yes. Uh, good morning. Hmm. Is it though? I well, I guess. He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Jackass. I also recognize his voice. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the West. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. News spreads here faster than we can freaking walk. Hill! Hmm? I'm that voice I recognize and I can't give a name. Oh? Or sort of. I can't give the voice actor's name. But I can't give a name of a character I heard this voice from. And you should know this name. Okay, go ahead then. Deku. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely see it or how to hear it. <laughs> Deku voicing another rabbit character. <laughs> what? Yeah, his his outfit is supposed to be a rabbit, isn't it? Well, Everyone's rabbit. talking. Oh, well, sure. Of course, you're the one who saved Oneida. Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? I, yeah, I can definitely hear it. It's a different tone, but at some points it is really recognizable, like that uh, uncertain bit there. Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. 
Oh, she is. She definitely is. I just, I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much. You're great. You're really, really great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he puts in a lighter tone here, but it is a bit audible in the patterns of how he speaks and such. Yeah, I think in Hero Academia, he changes his tone to be a bit light. Does it sound younger? But it's definitely, it has to be him. Or someone doing a damn good impersonation of him. Uh, and the one that sound the one that's smoking uh, I don't know the name of the character that, that he had been voice acting, but he usually voice acting someone behaving like that. Okay. You! You're perfect! Uh, um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Someone's a I'm bit not... fidgety and paranoid. This one sounds dirt familiar. I just don't know the characters he voice acts. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. <laughs> I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box. Return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. I feel like I've heard that voice actor in Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars, and I saw the other shows you watched. Maybe. Well, hello. Uh... You're a quiet one. Don't manners. You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit worn out, saving the village and everything, you know? Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well... Good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... Someone's ni nihilistic. And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. I'm yeah. hearing a lot of skilled voice ac actors here. <laughs> Come <laughs> box. <laughs> That's what it is. It's... It's a box, you can't open it, don't look in the box, do not open the box, you can look at the box, but that's it. And only if it helps you bring it back. It fell into a hole near the storage cave in Aurora, no doubt found by whatever light lives in the darkness deep below. <laughs> okay. Oop. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. Maybe you recognize her, Dust? Hello. Ah, our famed savior! I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Let's Another see. one. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Anything we can sell to you? Let's see, some slimy coat. Residue from a slime monster. Okay. Giant rock, fragments of stone from a giant. And giant core, the hardened blood of a giant. Okay, so giants are golems in this world, or golems are considered giants here. Oh, well, don't forget, there has been elemental giants, like, there are in before, like, like, stone giants, ice giants. Like, if it's a stone giant, it's a living creature, or, or an elemental creature, while a golem is a 
construct. Like a stone robot or clay robot, if you get what I mean. Okay. Uh, so let's see, stone giant, it's definitely sentient. Or like a golem. Thank you for coming in. I can almost guarantee your satisfaction. Almost. Yeah, <laughs> we just blow up the door almost. Well, not that there was a door in the first place. <laughs> I thought he tried to kill you. But I like his honesty. <laughs> okay, swap those out. Yeah. You, you, yeah do, you know do you also recognize his voice? Uh, Welcome back. Can't say it does. I, I hate those for me. Okay. Uh, you do have a better memory you about stuff like this. Honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends. You're rich one. I like this one has done a lot of merchant voice acting. Okay. Oh, another note. Let's see. A word of advice. What is this thing? Some kind of cage? Whatever it is, it's making this awful, awful racket. Once in a while I hear words that sound like fat and beats. What does that even mean? I'll hide it in the case behind beneath Aurora until I found the keys I need. I just need to remember to jump as far to the right as I can. Yeah, the, these notes, some of these give hints as they find hidden areas and such. Andy. See anything up here? Oh, hello. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Another veteran. No keys, okay. I feel like this one I have heard voice like many characters from different ages. Let's see. Hello? Good day, I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. Yeah, the <laughs> nobody carries around a blade that looks like that and freaking glows. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? 
Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. Hey, that's troublesome. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'll be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do, but it's more than that. It's almost like... like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you said no, I need to bite your face off. Wait, what? I'd like this you try, you little bastard. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. All right, guys. Okay. The voice actor. This one, I feel like I've mostly seen him as NPCs and maybe some half major role in cartoons. Okay. Fail. Hey, you're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> in so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what. If you could bring me five imp hides, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Okay, simple fetch quest. Okay. I, I, I feel like I've recognized every voice actor here. But again, I sadly don't know the name or every character. Okay, I do like that areas get these little previews. <laughs> okay. Resonance gates will open on and will only open if you have a resonance gem of the same color. Okay. It's, it looks like you have it. I think it needs a blue gem. Do you hear something lapping? Besides you? What? Uh, that isn't you? Hey, I don't make that much noise. Wait, you're right. Look out, we've got company. Oh, great, now we've got flyers. Flying <laughs> dragon tools? That'll get them down. Go. Dust storm is also used for just uh, attracting drop stuff to us. Oop, oop, that was a completely accidental parry. 
There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's put on a save here. Okay. 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 I have a question. Hmm. Uh, they have a sibling or a rival named Ash. Okay. Dust to dust, ash to ash. <laughs> Maybe. There. Okay. Oop. <laughs> Hello and goodbye. Okay. Let's see. We can jump on that. Okay, whatever he was here has been shattered into pieces. Okay. Oh, hello, big boy. There we go. Another slide passage. Hello. That's a big statue. And yeah, you can get quite some height <laughs> with the aerial dust storm, huh? Holy! And just get all of them on the way back down again. <laughs> Almost all of them. Yep. <laughs> I think that was one landing to the right. <laughs> we must have launched them really high. Okay, nothing that way. Yeah, you do need enemies to lock onto to get that height, though. Yep, got hit by something. Yep, damn it. There we go. Okay. Now we're looking for that blacksmith and whatever it is the node was about with the leap of faith. There we go. All right. Yeah, some of these fights can go on for quite some time. Oh, hello. Uh, well, oh you really should have saved first. <laughs> Bloms, deadly creatures, keep your distance. They will detonate if you get too close, but are vulnerable when taking a deep breath. Perfect for a ranged attack. Let me at them. Bombs, balloon bombs. Okay, another statue. Okay, anything hidden down here? Nothing there, but we have the merchant again. I am here to serve. Let's see, anything new what, that we can sell you? A bottle, antique glass bottle with many uses. Okay. And Avi Claw, the sharpened nails of an Avi. Okay. You're supposed to be flying? Maybe. Let's see, nothing to sell, anything to buy, nothing new. Okay. Your transaction is most appreciated. Thank you. Okay. Let's get out of this pit. Yep. Yeah. Okay, we can also just set them off by getting close enough to trigger them, but yeah, run away before they blow up. Okay, that's background. Here we go. Here 
Here we go. Oh, blueprints for smooth whetstone. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, and they can set each other off. So they're not immune to explosive damage from each other. There we go. Let's see, what does it mean when a, one of the areas is blue and green? Good question, look at the coins. You're a buyer for all. Yep. There, another key. Should probably save some of these up for that cage. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, these are easy enough to deal with. So, hello, child's pendants. Okay. I do believe that a circle means that we have found everything that is to be found there. Whilst a dot means that there is more to find. Oh, you mean on the uh, minimap? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Headless statue. Simple pendant, but we've got that one equipped already. More wall chicken. And let's see, that needs a blue stone. Oop. One of the notes mentioned a headless statue. Let's see. Oh, welcome to the character screen. From here, you can assign skill gems acquired by leveling up to improve your attributes. Note that your highest stat must be within four gems of your lowest stat. Okay, to avoid over specialization. And yeah, the game is just distributing them evenly. With okay, with a focus on health. Uh, let's see. Quests. Material screen to the collected from enemies and can be crafted into better equipment by a blacksmith. Materials can also be sold to shops. Once cataloged, shops will attempt to restock their inventory. Use this to your advantage when materials are scarce. Okay. So in case you want some in case you need something. <clears throat> just if you need more of something but you only have one, just sell it to a merchant and then you can buy more from them later. Uh, let's see, notes. Leap of Fates, the turn. I made to Archer's Pass with my airy my leg. Caught up with me at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere to go, I climbed out uh, to the hand and made a leap of fate. Okay. Now the hand is over here. And that didn't lead anywhere. There's something up there you run past. That looks like a rope. And wait, there's a rock in the lock. You're supposed to catapult yourself. Probably. It's actually. Oh, you were. Yep. I saw you were supposed, apparently supposed to interact with something there. It's... You're yeah. not seeing an interact button coming up. Now it's just for jumping down. Nice. Oh, hello. What the? And we discovered a secret. Okay, I'm pretty sure I never found this before. Okay. Let's see, pendant of the creature, and we're out of, yeah, out of, not out of coins, but out of, uh, keys. Let's see, another one. Okay. 
And that's how we get back out. Okay. We'll have to keep that one in mind for when we again find get our hands on enough keys. Wait, does that mean this this rube, log and stone or red herrings? Yep. Okay. Now what's this way? Okay, we also get healed when we're standing on these. Might as well put on the save. I'm pretty sure the percentage is based on map exploration and such. And stuff found. So that is going to go up pretty quickly, but then go down a lot as well. Oop, ow. And he was burning. That needs blue. Okay. I thought I turned on the auto heal. Or did I match the? De yep. Did I manage to turn that off? I'll just set them off manually. Okay. I do like the effects of the everything as well. Like, you can see shockwaves coming from the explosions. Little yeah, air disturbances. This is very nice. And this game is over 10 years old. It came out in 2012. But it has H very well, I say. Yeah. Now. Another blueprint for pendants. Oh. From the day that our action mini games like this that have Whoa. A12. Uh, oh. Hello there. <laughs> Easy there, Chief. Everyone, calm down, please. So, you were the ones making all that noise up there. Uh, not intentionally. Uh, by the way, do you know you have bloms in the attic? Oh, those? They don't bother us. And they tend to keep the other monsters away. If I knew we were having company, I'd have cleared them out myself. Sorry about that, I guess. Okay, that works. So, what brings you to this far outside Aurora? I'm assuming that's where you're from. I'm Dust, and this is my companion, Fidget. We're here to deliver these materials on Augustine's behalf. Oh, well, nice to meet ya. I'm Haley, and this is my brother, Maddie. I think that's both. Don't mind him. I see you've got a blueprint there. Mind if I take a look? Well, this doesn't look too hard. Tell you what, if you can find me the materials for it, I'll craft this item for ya. Okay, let's see. It does cost us as well. Let's see. Times 1.1 defense, not plus, times. Okay. Augment, smooth whetstone. Okay. You appreciate the mirror finish this whetstone offers. Uh, oh, black sheath. Lots of pointy bits. <laughs> plus 50 attack times 1.2 fidget. But we need a bunch of that for that. Okay. Let's, we can make this one if we'd want to. And light chainmail, assembled from thousands of, uh, thousands of tiny interlocked steel rings. Okay, we need more of that. Wait, okay, we can buy these materials straight from them. Okay, and then this dirty ring. Let's see. So far, I feel like I'm only hearing voice actors I have heard before. Like, there's no one I haven't heard this before or something. Like, all these I've been hearing so far are all veterans. Let's see. They don't have... We don't have these unlocked, so there's no... We can't get that yet. And uh, just five. <laughs> they could just make that out of whatever. Thanks, Haley. And, uh, just because I like you... I'll give you a blue resonance gem. 
Don't know if you caught it on your way up, but there's a big blue door at the foot of Archer's Pass that this will open. Just inside the door is a teleporter that'll take you right up here. It makes return trips a lot easier. So you can come and visit anytime you like. I'll be honest, even with a shortcut at the foot of the pass, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it up here too often. Hmm, well, my dad did have these little receiver things he'd give to his regular customers to transport goods back and forth. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to give you. Let me think. If I remember correctly, one of my dad's customers dropped one somewhere in Abadi's fort. If you were to find it, I could craft your items and send them to you through the receiver whenever you wanted. Dad normally gives his customers a blue resonance gem, so check for blue resonance gates in Abadi's forest. Need anything else? Okay, useful. Pretty useful. So, let's talk. I notice it's only you and Maddie up here in the pass. Is it just you two? Not all the time, no. My father still runs the forge, but he's usually away on business. Right now, he's somewhere across the sea, hunting down new minerals and ores. He's always trying to make better weapons and armor. Sounds like he's always pretty busy. Yeah, but I get along fine by myself. And Maddie too, of course. I meant to ask before. Does Maddie have a problem with me? What? Well, it's just... He seems to grumble a lot around me. I can attest to that. Lots of grumbling. I really can't say, Dust. Maddie, do you have anything to say? <laughs> well, I hope that answered your question. Uh, not really, but... Let it go, Dust. Just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> so, is blacksmithing the official family trade, then? In a way, I guess. My father said I could be whatever I wanted, but when you grow up alongside a world-famous blacksmith, your options are fairly limited. Not that I mind, though. It's nice to have skills that are in demand these days. Everybody always needs something forged, whether it's amulets or armor. So, business is good? <sighs> it's... well, it's been better. Still, we make enough to keep things going, and that's the important thing. Your forge is pretty far off the beaten path, Haley. Why set up shop so far outside Aurora? This forge is actually quite ancient. My father's 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 father inherited it from his mother's grandfather on her father's side. It was built during the Battle of Archers Pass, many hundreds of years ago. The archers were holding off their enemies from way up here, but they needed a forge to replenish their arrows. So they built one right where they stood. It helped them take Archers Pass, and from here, they were able to liberate the whole valley. Sounds like this forge has a lot of history behind it then. Even so... Location, location, location. <sighs> yeah, I hear what you're saying. I wish it was more accessible. We'd get more business, I'm sure of it. But it's not like we can just pick it up and move it. True. I'll bet if you had an army of trained rats, you could move this place no problem. Uh, <laughs> where what? did that come from? Uh, fidgets, I don't think that'd help. Don't worry about her dust. Altitude sickness drives some creatures crazy. Fidget was pretty crazy before. Maybe we should be on our way. <laughs> Need anything else? Thanks, dust. Don't be long coming back. Okay. I hate that. Can't remember every character I, can, I heard these actors from. Like sometimes you meet. You remember characters. That went incredibly well. Do you know why? Go ahead. I was like, some characters name I will remember fine. Until a few time, a few days or months after I finish a game or stop playing a game or stop watching a show or something. 
Then the yeah. character's name is gone. Yeah, it's typically more like a feeling or so that sticks around. But if yeah, you like, get enough hints that you recognize them then. Yeah. In my case, I recognize the voices right away. Probably is I forgot that the names that it should, they should be connected to. Luckily, I remember Deku was an easy one. Yeah. Also, this battle must have been going on for ages if they needed to f make a freaking forge. And, well, the, the amount of statues that they've made of these archers also tells of that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Fidget. Why? Oh, don't be so dense. It's because she likes you. Fidget, what are you talking about? You didn't see the signals? She was giving you the signals. That's great, Fidget. Really, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. I think he has a little bit much to think about uh, before going for anything like that. Yeah. No. We have a blue resonance gem now, so let's take a look what's behind here. Okay, there's the tele. No, but. Okay, yeah, this is this does teleport us down to the bottom here. Ooh, hello. The girl. Don't worry, I put her cage in a safe place. If you ever need to find her, just climb up high above the wooden bridge near Denham and don't try doing that wall jump move of yours to get to her. You'll fall and break your neck. <laughs> okay. That's... Yeah, that put us at the bottom here, but let's actually go back up. Because there was another gemmed door somewhere around here. Let's see. Plus, we're getting a bunch of free resources like this. Let's see. Was it down here? Not time. here. All right. Yeah, and of course, there's another one that's behind, right behind it. Though I think you can take a bit of a guess as to what this might be, what from what's happening in the background. See roots, levitating stones. Did you dump on your alchemy potion in the woods again? No. <laughs> I'll give a hint. It's a reference to something we've streamed already. Let's see. No, can't be our boy. No. It's a bit older than that. Think it's okay? No. We were done with it pretty quickly. It was another indie developer. I call it lost? No. It also... Maybe the, the fact that the land comes up from the, uh, from the voids will give you a bit of a hint. A near clue. <laughs> it starts with a B. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, now I get it. Now I get it. Do Are you on the call? No. <laughs> Bastion. Yeah. <laughs> there are yes. multiple references to other indie games in this game. Oh dear. Yeah, I said Bas no, I said Bionicle just to mess with him. Yeah. Oh wait, all my Oracle games. I haven't streamed them. Uh, okay, so we need a teleport stone to teleport around with these. Okay, that's a bit annoying. Okay. And I think I might... I think I must have been wrong about the mini-map then. Because it showed areas as circles when we... There's 
There's still stuff to be found there, or at least those chests. Yeah, that secret area with the chests that we can't open yet, that's being shown as a circle, so I'm guessing that means that uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, the, cir the circles mean that yeah, there's more stuff to be found there. Do the dust represent stuff that we can get to then? Also, there is something this way. It all right, we need to slide through that, though. Okay. We're almost to the bottom anyways again. And we don't need to fight every time. So... Oh. Wait. But we do need to fight if we want to exit. Are you sweet on something? Oh. The set teams were all small here. Mm, yeah. They're not small. They're, they're, being, they're taller than you. Hello. Hello. Okay, there's a bomb fruit somewhere nearby, I believe. That's an him. They don't look small until you do they. No. In there. Now where was that fruit? There it is. Okay. Let's pull you loose. Go. Let's not jump into the teleporter. Uh, okay, we did this last time. Hmm. Okay, was that just plain luck that I got up there then? Yep, that that worked all the same. Yep, let me hear you. Now I just get, need to get you up there with your mystery chicken. Hmm. Okay, how exactly? Wait, are you able to stand on the farm? Nope. Hmm. Okay, now how did I? How did I accidentally get up there last time, then? I thought you did just stand on the farm, but so far it looks like you just jumped over it. Hmm. Yeah, I must have accidentally <laughs> done something to get extra height. Uh, let's see, let's head back. Okay, there's a bunch Wait, of stuff to be found here. How do you just go right up, like a helicopter almost? I can't. I there needs to be enemies nearby to do that. Actually, maybe now that there's some some things up there. Hmm. Yeah, we, we're going to need a double jump or something to get back up there. And hopefully the stone, hopefully the the wall remains broken. Yeah, let's hope it does. Let's see. There's Abadis Forest. There's new stuff over here at the Glade, apparently. Let's see, there's another entrance here. Let's see. Okay. There have to be a bomb somewhere around here if you're trying to fly against the wind. Yeah, of course. In the sliding area. Yeah, that can be something that is quite annoying in some games. When you need... <clears throat> when you need a mobility... Uh, uh, yeah, a, a mobility thing. It's very annoying to actually make some progress until you get that. So I guess for now, let's make progress on the story.
more of these flying things. Okay. Yeah, the fact that we do need to buy those teleport stones to go around, that is rather annoying. Okay, it looks like the dust storm also pulls the flyers down. Just, just as I say that the corpse of one lands. <laughs> there we go. And some fireworks to finish the fight on. Hmm. Okay, what does it mean when something is a different color up oh, let's okay yellow means that there's a shop blue means that there's a safe okay treasure is indeed a circle but what does green mean then uh, that's real mm, no it shows where we are by flashing the specific square Plus, that bit on the minimap was also green when we were not there. Hmm. Hello. Okay. Okay. Windy chest. Hmm. We probably should try to save up some keys. Probably like six. Two for the hidden area. And four for that chest. Not chest. Cage. Yeah. All in time. All right. Yeah, be extra watch for the long time today since uh, he needs to be away uh, soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't uh, think, just in case, we should just uh, skip the raid for today. Like, uh, maybe. I'll, I'll take a quick look after for who are online. And yeah, if there's nobody that pops out, we'll just I call it there. Serve. Okay. Let's see, anything new to sell you? No, actually. Okay. Your transaction is most appreciated. Okay. We'll see if they have new stuff to sell next time we run into them. But yeah, they, they are somewhat like the merchant in Resident Evil 4 in that they keep appearing before us somehow. And who you do this? But, okay, sometimes you can just get completely thrown by just flying around. Let's see, anything down here? Sometimes it looks like Dust does a step backwards during his uh, combo in another sliding area. Oh, another. We killed him before we even uh, got the opportunity to parry him. Okay. This is a pretty big area, it seems. Yeah. A little beast. Wait, one beast? Finally, we're out of those caverns. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? Huh. I laugh at the dark. Actually, I'm afraid of heights. 
Uh... What? Wait, heights? How is that possible? You fly all the time. Everywhere. Oh, do I? I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. <laughs> okay. It kind of makes sense. Uh, something that, yeah, for something that flies, falling would be one of their greatest fears. Yeah, for example, for if you lose control in middle of a flight, you end up falling from yeah. very tall heights. So it, it actually makes sense. Yeah, I guess on... technically what she's doing is more hovering near us. But she's flying, but she's flying in a more safer height. Yeah. More of a, a bruise height than a, a, a broken bone height. Yeah, like when, he, when he's about to rain, you see birds uh, fly lower. Even though when about a storm is about to come. But many birds will not fly in storm at all. Hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Okay, guessing nothing new to sell them. Um, nope. Okay. Now we can sell them the old whetstone. That's okay. Pendant of the creature, an other amalgamation of twigs and bones. Okay. Your transaction is most appreciated. Oh, wait, forgot to check if he actually has actual new I stuff to, to sell himself. As he does. Okay. Ornamental pendant. A talented artist spent some time engraving this otherwise modest pendant. Ten defense. Nothing new there, nothing new there, and nothing new there. Oh, oh wait. Uh, okay, so it is single use. That is annoying, but a will. They're not super expensive, but still. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch. Okay, uh... Ooh, you're still leveling up? Uh, actually, you're only 3 XP away from leveling up. <laughs> okay. So oh, literally, right, the, uh, the next thing that we right, smack right, right, I counted wrong. Okay, never no, mind, I counted wrong. You're 103 XP away. Uh, uh no, 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 uh... 3 to 200, so 123. 1, 2, 3. <laughs> uh, 24, 320. You have 24, 197. Yeah, plus 3 makes uh, 200, then plus 120 for 320. So 1, 2, 3. I mean, you need 123. Yeah. Okay! Okay, now I get you. I thought you were having a go at me. I see you one, two, three. Like one and two and three. <laughs> I thought you were counting. No. Yep. Oh, bloody heck. Okay. Actually, now that we're at the save point here, let's call it a little bit early. Then we still have a bit of time to go look for someone to raid, possibly. Okay. Override file. And yeah, double checking. Yep. Okay. Exit game. Yes. Okay. That'll be it for our first stream of Dust and Elysian Tale. Very nice so far. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you think of the game so now that we have done more of it and not just the 30-minute showcase? I'm even more impressed. Especially about the diverse voice actors I all recognize. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, let's go raid K9. It's been a while since we've raided them. I think it's actually been a while since they've streamed. So, copy the name. They're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay, right. slash raid and paste. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, 
side yeah side quest streams uh one of the most is going to be noi to love 2 devolution apparently there is a noi to love 1 i thought that 2 was a joke of sorts but it's a download uh, you you can only download that from con jack's uh, website i'll take a look at that uh maybe do that instead but we'll see as for the second side quest or, no there's not going to be a second side quest because it's i'm going out <laughs> the family is going out for dinner and oh. unlikely to return in time oh, Rosa, let's say this if i get big if he returns on time if we still depend on if he's in mood or well what condition he's in when he returns home or if he returns on home in time for another stream yeah because i'm so, going to get my freaking fail yeah so either he's fine or he's near food coma yeah <clears throat> okay uh yeah for now though uh at least yeah we'll see if it'll if we'll do noi to love one or two i'll take a quick peek at the game tomorrow but uh, or maybe just another game in entirely we'll just have to see i have multiple installed <clears throat> But yeah, for now, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Sensai, and thank you as always, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. Yeah, a little bit short, but I need, do need to make sure I'm there on time uh, with the swimming attendance keeping. Uh, because, yeah, I'm filling in for someone. Like, I had been filling in for five uh, weeks during... Well, Wednesday, which is why there haven't been any multiplayer streams in a while, on Wednesday at least. Uh, but yeah, maybe next week we can try and get that going again. <clears throat> Hopefully. Uh, for now, though, let's start that raid. And, oh, hello, they've put on their shield raid. Okay, or the raid shields, okay. Uh, then I'll just pick someone at random. Chubber's the moon seal. They always seem to be online when we're streaming, so might as well there, raid and paste. Yep. Yep. Raid, not Roddy. <laughs> Mistyped and breaking down. Okay. Uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day. Until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and abbeys. <laughs>